Hi, and welcome to this talk on using the rock solid knowledge quick start template for Duende Identity Server and Admin UI. My name is Kevin Jones. Rock solid knowledge has created a .NET template. If you use this template, it will create a solution that will contain a .NET project for Admin UI and a .NET project for Duende Identity Server. When you run the template, it's configurable and it lets you choose, for example, things like the database you want to use. So let's go and see how to use it. So to use the template, we first have to install it. So in the console here, I can do .NET new install and then the name of the template, which is rsk.admin all in one. So with the template installed, I can now run this. And I have some options when I run it. I can specify the solution name. I can specify the name of my database provider, which is going to be SQL Server, MySQL, or Postgres SQL. And along with that, we can then specify the connection string and a couple of URLs. The URL that Admin UI will listen on and the URL that Identity Server will listen on. And for some of these, if we don't specify them, they will take on default values. So the default database provider is SQL Server, and the default URLs will be localhost for both Admin UI and for Identity Server, with Admin UI listening on port 5001, and Identity Server listening on port 5003. Notice that the short name for this template is Admin UI plus IDS. So my command will look like this. We do .NET new, and then the short template name. My solution will be called my all-in-one solution. I'm using MySQL as the database, and this is the connection string to that MySQL database. And if I hit enter here, it creates the solution for me in the my all-in-one solution folder. And if I CD into that folder and take a look at this, then we can see the solution file an admin UI project, an identity server project, an identity server test project, and a readme file. Now we can open that solution in Visual Studio, or as I'm going to do, inside Rider. When I open it inside Rider, it looks like this. And Rider asks me to run an npm install, to install the packages from package.json. So we can do that. And then if I look in the admin UI project, in the app settings.json file, there's a section called license key. And we need to replace that with the value of our license key. To get the license key, I can go to identityserver.com. From here, go to products and admin UI, and then enter my details where it says try admin UI for free. And if you do that, you will be sent a license key that you can use that will last you for a month. Once you get that key, you can paste it in here. And with that in place, we can now run the admin UI project. And if we do that, it connects to the database and starts running the migrations against the database. Now it's showing some errors here, and the errors it's showing are there because we haven't run Identity Server yet. So in the browser, my admin UI window currently looks like this. So if I go back into my project and go to the Identity Server section and run Identity Server, and then go back to the admin UI window and refresh, it connects to Identity Server, and we can now log in. And the default login is info at rocksolidknowledge.com. And the password is password with a capital P, one, two, three, exclamation mark. And if I do that, we get logged in to Admin UI. And then Admin UI asked me to create the first user, which will become an Admin UI administrator, and it will disable that default user for me. So thank you for listening to this talk. If you prefer to read about this, there's an article on this template on the identityserver.com website at this URL.